Hey guys and welcome back to another ethics product overview and today we're going to be talking about the Mr. Steel V2 Silk and what that is is a 2350 kV, 2345 kV motor that's rated for 4S on 5 inch props. Some people are using even 5S on 5 inch props. So I'll go ahead and talk to you about the motor and specifically show you what comes in the box and also give you some kind of overview of what how to use the motor and you know what to expect when you get this motor. So first of all, we do offer replacement bells. So if you end up crashing and you need a replacement bell, it's a little 1.5 millimeter screw that you screw off the bottom here on the version two with the steel hollow shaft, which I will show you in a second. Very easy, quick replacement of the bell. So we offer those. Now let's go ahead and open up the box here and I'll show you what comes with the Silk, the silk V2s. So, the Silk V1 came out about a year and a half ago, and that was my first motor, Mr. Steel motor, with Team Black Sheep. Ultimately, the version 2 model is actually under the moniker of Ethics LTD, which is my company. Um, and yeah, at the end of the day, it's very similar to the V1. It's just completely revised into all the flaws that happened with the V1 we, we fixed with the V2. So let me talk about the V2 real quick. So first of all, you're going to notice that it's white, exactly like the version 1. It's, it's a very cool color. A lot of people were kind of skeptical at first, but ultimately it looks really, really good on a, on a full build. It's just a really cool looking color, honestly. White is, is one of my uh, favorite colors for motors now. Obviously the silk is black, but I still kind of prefer the white ones. So let me talk about why there are different colors. So the silk V1 um, is obviously white 2306. 2345 kV. Well, the Silk V2 is a 2306, 24, 2345 kV as well. So that kV and that stator size is actually rated for a 5 inch propeller on 4S. So that's 16.8 volts. And that's kind of like the generic idea, like the setup that you would want to run with this particular motor. Now, a lot of people are running 5S, which is upwards of 20 something volts, like 21 volts, I think. So you, these motors actually do work on 5S. So if you have a 4S rig and you want a little bit more power, um, you can run 5S on this motor on a 2306, 2345 kV motor. Um, but I'll talk about some of the other features right now, and then we'll talk about maybe some uh, some efficiency ratings and stuff like that towards the end of the video. So first of all, you have this 2306, 2345 kV motor. You have the standard bolt size on the bottom, which actually I've kind of uniformly done 19 by 19 millimeters instead of a 16 by 19 stagger. So these are actually 19 by 19 and 19 by 19. So you have a uniform uh, base plate. And the reason I did that is because I feel like I only run two screws usually, and when I run two screws, I wanted the wider of the two stances to be the screws that I used rather than the narrow of the stances. So that's why I went by 19 by 19 versus 16 by 16. So anyways, that is the kind of baseline. You'll also notice that on the V2, there is this 1.5 millimeter screw. Like I mentioned earlier, when I talked about replacing bells, you unscrew this, pop the bell off and you're good to go. You pop a new bell on, you can even run a, uh, you know, a stout bell if you will. You wanna try N52 magnets, which are a little bit more of a uh, stronger magnet, offer a little bit more power and a little bit more throttle response. You can pop that bell onto the silk and it will work completely fine. All of these components between the V1, the V2, and the stout V2 are all interchangeable. So you can take bells from the V1s, you can put them on V2s, you can take bells from V2s and put them on V1s, you can take stout bells, put them on the white motor, you can take the stout bell, put it on the V1 motor. All of these things are completely interchangeable. They are all 2306, and now the KVs are different, but the bell itself is the same, and you can pretty much interchange them on anything with no problems. Now, most people are gonna say, well, I have V1s and I wanna upgrade to V2s. Well, you know, you could just buy four bells, pop the bells onto your V1s, and you basically have new motors aside from maybe the bearings. Depending on how rough you are on motors, you might need new bearings as well, which we do offer. So let's go ahead and talk about a little bit more towards the top of the motor. Uh, obviously you have this eight mil shaft, or sorry, not shaft, the eight mil nut that goes on there that holds the propellers down. There are these little grips here that hold the propeller in place in case your prop nut comes a little bit loose. But from my experience with a steel prop shaft, uh, you don't really have any problems with the nuts coming loose if you tighten them down pretty sufficiently when you're about to take off. Uh, and I always recheck, say I've been flying the same props for a couple weeks, or uh, not a couple weeks, a couple days. I'll, you know, I recheck the props occasionally, but very rarely do they come loose. Um, and if they do, you got these little bite grips right here to help grab the prop so it's not gonna free spin and cause you to crash. 
Then you have the hollow steel shaft, which ultimately leads this whole motor to be a 28 grams, um, which is a super lightweight motor, especially considering it's a 2306, which is a wider stator than most people, or not most people, but most motors out there. A lot of guys are running 2206s, which weigh about the same. So when you're talking about adding a little bit wider of a stator, 2306, so 23 millimeters across diameter versus six millimeters high, uh, it, it, you know, it can add a little bit of weight, but that extra millimeter, we've kept it down to 28 grams. Um, and what that extra millimeter does is it gives you a little bit more low end throttle response, which I think is better for freestyle. If you want high end speed, I'd go with a little bit smaller of a stator, like a 2205, 2206, or 2207. But if you want that kind of poppy, freestyle feel and a lot of racers like these uh, motors as well but if you want that poppy feel and that low end response a 2306 is a very good stator and the lighter weight it is the more responsive it's going to be so keep that in mind when you're buying a motor make sure you get one that is ultimately light if you want it to be super durable you know get a heavier motor but if you want it to be light and have a good flight characteristic the lighter the bell the lighter the motor overall is going to give you a better flight characteristic so let me go ahead and open this little situation up here and you'll you'll probably notice that there is no base on this motor well you know there was a base on the v1 well let me show you in this box what you get that makes this motor pretty special and that is you get the hardware you get the screws and the eight millimeter uh, nut if you will so that you can screw the prop on and the mounting hardware to mount it to the motor but you also get these things that we like to call pants um, and what they do is they slip over the wires here and they are keyed plastic pieces. This is a polycarbonate piece that slips onto the bottom of the motor and gives you a base. Now, why would you want a base? Well, if you're flying in a muddy area and you don't run a base, you crash, mud is gonna go up inside the stator and you're ultimately just gonna have a dirty motor. Now, whether that causes you problems or it just aesthetically is not pleasing to you, it's usually not good in either of those instances. So with a base, you're ultimately getting the protection of not getting mud up inside the motors or possibly even sand, but you're also getting a different look as well. So uh, with a plastic base versus a metal base, you're also gaining the effect, the, effect, the effect that if you bend the plastic, you usually can bend the plastic back. If you don't like the plastic, to be bent or maybe something's wrong and it, you know you bent the motor but the plastic is touching and you, you really don't like it well unscrew the bolts take this clip it off it's just plastic you can replace it super cheap super easy and run it without and you ultimately can keep flying that day and you don't have to worry about you know having something binding on the motor now the other piece this is just your basic generic base but then you have this piece, which is like a big protective base. So again, these are all keyed and they've all come with the motors factory, like you buy that box and these both come in there. So this is the protective base. So it goes around the side of the motor and you can see that it really well protects the top of the bell and the side of the bell from hitting concrete or hitting whatever you're hitting, trees, you know, animals, hopefully not. Um, but ultimately that is going to give you a lot of extra bell protection. Um, and you can run these on the front and you can run these on the back. You can run these on the front and run nothing on the back, whatever. Most of the time you hit stuff in the front and that's why you want something like this to protect. But each motor comes with both of these pairs of pants. You can choose whatever you will to run with or without pants. So again, like I said in the beginning of this video, this is the Mr. Steel V2 Silk and it is a 2306, 2345 KB, and is rated for 4S with a 5-inch propeller. I've seen people been flying recently on 5S with these motors, and they hold it very well. So again, you can try 5S on a 5-inch propeller, but just be advised that it's specifically designed for 4S on a 5-inch propeller on a quad that weighs under 800 grams. So when you're talking about adding weight and doing stuff, these motors are going to be powerful, but at the end of the day, I designed this specific motor to give me more flight time versus is that extra amount of power. So this is gonna be a more efficient 4S motor than most of the 4S motors on the market. Again, you're gonna get a little bit more flight time. Most people on average 4S motors are getting between one and one and a half, maybe two minutes, depending on how hard you're flying. If you're flying really soft, you might be able to get three, three and a half. This motor flying really hard on a seven or sorry a 600 gram quad, which is typically what I fly, really really hard full throttle flying a lot is about I don't know a minute 45 to two minutes and 15, two minutes 20 seconds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but that's kind of the standard with 4S. You're not going to get a lot of flight time if you're really aggressive with it. If you're super casual with it, you can probably get three to four, maybe five minutes out of a 4S battery, but that's talking about like a 4S 1300. Obviously, if you wanna add more weight, you wanna to go to a 1500 or an 1800, you can get more flight time, 
but at the end of the day you're taking away from the flight characteristics. So again, this motor is specifically rated for 4S. It handles 5S, but it's rated for 4S with a 5-inch propeller on a 1300 milliamp pack on a quad weighing roughly 6, 650 grams. I've seen a lot of people flying 7, 750, 800 gram quads with these motors and they have no problems, but again, you are going to lose some performance because you've increased the weight. Again, uh, this is the Mr. Steel V2 Silk. And if you guys have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below. And if you want to check this motor out, go to ethicsltd.com and check out our product section. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye.